Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and I am headed out to the hoop house to open it up for the day. So this is something I've been doing now that the temperatures are getting warmer because this heats up real quick, especially when the sun comes out and it rained all night. I mean, water was like pooling in our driveway and stuff, but the sun is expected to come out. It's about 50 degrees out right now. And I bet you it's warmer in the hoop house. And as soon as the sun hits that plastic, heats up a lot. So here is the hoop house. It's a 16 by 50 foot Gothic tunnel from Farmer's Friend. And we'll go inside of it in a minute. But first I have to lift up the sides and I'm doing so by using the little things that came with it. It just takes a couple of minutes. I do have the cranks that roll up the sides. But we just haven't installed them yet. So this actually, I don't mind doing this at all. And I don't even know if I'm gonna install the, the cranks on this hoop house because this is so simple. So in real time, this took less than a minute. And I also have deer netting. I honestly just, it's pinned into the ground with pins right here. And then I literally just put it right here just to keep the chickens out because they want in and they want in bad and now i'm just going to do the other side quick so it is 66 degrees in here now but once that sun peeks through and it's threatening right now it will shoot up to 90 degrees in like two minutes so i'm happy that that's open the sun is trying and it will peak out very soon, but it's just a matter of time. All afternoon is supposed to be sun. All right, let's get in here and see how everything is doing. So here is a look at how everything is doing in here. It's been a couple of weeks since I showed you guys inside. I just can't get over the ranunculus. Again, I'll put a before and after on this row. This row right here, I planted March 11th, and then today is, well, it's April 12th today, but I can't get over the difference. And this is all ranunculus here, all ranunculus here, and these poppies I just put in a couple days ago. That's some direct seeded stuff, anemones, stock snapdragons, stock poppies, more snapdragons. Everything is doing really well. I keep looking. I'm not spending too much time looking for buds, not as much time as I did last year, but I should start to see buds in the next couple of weeks. Uh, so I'm kind of taking it, you know, as it comes. When they're here, they're here. I'm not going crazy and looking every day for hours like I did last year. <laughs> what just happened? I had no idea that this was gonna happen today. There's a poppy blooming. What in the heck? And look, the casing landed right on the petal. Oh my goodness. It's super short and super adorable. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna take the pot off. Oh, I love it. It's only about six inches tall, but that's okay. That's expected on these little tiny baby ones. They'll get taller as they come. Oh my goodness. The first bloom inside the hoop house 2022. Hooray! So I wanted to show you guys the difference between the stock that I put in the 72 plug trays and the stock that I put in the 200 plug trays. These were started at the exact same time, but obviously the stock that I had transplanted into the 72 plug trays are a lot bigger than the 200s. They're still all growing very well, I'm honestly so curious to see if they're going to have a different bloom time because they were started on the exact same day. It's only been about five minutes since I opened up the hoop house for the day and it's already dropped six degrees in here. And it, oh, the sun's coming out. Oh, it's getting bright in here. It's going to warm up really quick. But anyway, I accidentally hit this one with water. It's not 114 degrees in here. Uh, I was watering in here, which I water in here about once every four or five days. But this one over here, 
that one is fine. I didn't hit that. So I've gotten a lot of questions about this right here, this monitor. It is Bluetooth. I can, it's, I think it's got 175 foot reach. I can check it in the house. So this, I'll put a link to it in the description. Super amazing and super inexpensive. And this has been an amazing way to check on my plants to make sure they don't need extra protection. So I just leave it on the ground and check it probably 75 times a day, you know. This is some of the direct sewn crests. I'm gonna have to go in and thin it out, but I kind of just tossed it there, but obviously germination was pretty good. Okay, so now that I've shown you guys a little update about inside the hoop house, let's go open the chickens. She's peeking up, she's trying, she'll reach there. It's kind of clearing up back here. So I have 22 free range chickens at the moment, and we are building a chicken run for them. Uh, for a few reasons. Number one, they will destroy all of my plants. Number two, I'm really kind of nervous about the avian flu. And now that the migratory birds are coming home, the chances of the avian flu coming up to the Northern States, I think it has been detected in New York. So I'm really um, worried about them. <sighs> they're like my, you know, they're pets. They're not, they're not just chickens. So let's open them up. Oh, I got to get their food first. Ooh. If I open up their coop, which is right there, which was my childhood playhouse. If I open that up without a big whole thing of food in my hand, they get mad. They chase me all over the place. Oh, the sun just came out. Oh, be nice ladies, be nice. So here's an update on the tulips. I planted about 5,000 in this section right here. I'm trying to make sure I'm gonna have them for Mother's Day. So I did come through yesterday and put some plastic over my earliest row. Here are a couple clips from that. This morning I am putting a cover on just these tulips. These are my earliest tulips. I planted them so that the earliest ones would be harvested first, the mid spring ones, and then the late spring ones. Um, that's just how I planned out when I was putting them in the ground. And then that row over there is also kind of early, but these are the ones I wanna force. These are a beautiful pastel mixture for Mother's Day. And I'm really hoping, I wanna make sure that I'm gonna have these. So I'll be watching it carefully there. I think, I think 1100 in this row, there's about 11 to 1200 in each row. And there's actually a row to the left of that one that isn't up yet. Those are 500 rows. So there's 500 there and 500 there. And then right there is another row of 1100. I was considering covering that row too. I just haven't finished it yet. So, and this is inside the deer fence, obviously. We've got an eight foot tall deer fence because I mean, the deer like to hang out back there. And then this is the rest of the area inside the deer fence. This is where I wanna put the rows in immediately, but you can see how wet it is. Can't really get the tractor in here to build the Bio 360 beds. I'm hoping by the end of this week with some sunshine coming, we'll be able to do that. So that's kind of a quick update of where things are right now on the farm I have planned out my rose. I'll be sharing that with you guys uh, coming up soon. It's been, it's been, you know, an adventure these past few weeks as time is just flying by. It's in the middle of April now. <sighs> That's crazy to me. So I need to get my cool flowers in the ground and hopefully the weather is going to cooperate so I can do that because right now this is a, a pile of mud. I can't plant in here until it dries out. It's honestly a little bit of a struggle right now, but hopefully, like I said, the sunshine is going to come out dry this area up, bring in some fresh compost, and let's get this farm 2022 started. Anyway, guys, thanks for sticking around. We'll see you soon. So I wanted to show you guys quick. These are tulips from last year. This is where I had the tulip patch last year. These are tulips that I just never pulled. 
So I never cut them, I never pulled them. They either came on too strong and uh, I never got to them and they were blown out because we had some really warm days last year or they were tulips that I just left in the ground. So we will see what happens. So some of them I'm gonna see a little bit of a bloom from. There are definitely tulips coming up, but like I said, these are ones that I never pulled last year or harvested from. So it'll be interesting to see how many actually throw up a beautiful bulb. Who's chatting over there? Is that you, Jeffrey? Why you gotta be so loud? <laughs> Jeffrey, oh, that's you. The first harvest though, not too far off. I have about a thousand daffodils that are probably about a week away from harvest. So at least I know I'll have specialty daffodils for Mother's Day. Hooray! Hooray!